So how do you structure your contract to tie up a piece of property while you study it to determine what you can actually build before you close on the property? And in the previous video, I, I talked about the fact that you never want to close on a piece of land till you know what you can do with it, till you know exactly what you can build and what your um, ultimate value is going to be. So how do you actually make that happen? What does it look like? So what you want to do is you want to obviously start the process with an LOI, letter of intent, laying out the terms to which you would be agreeable to purchase the property. So once the LOI is accepted, then you can move into the contract phase. And you know, for some people, you can just start with the contract. So basically what you want to do, depending on where you're at and the time frame it takes to get approvals, zoning changes, amendments, whatever it is you need, you want to make sure that you have a due diligence period Number one, of at least 60 to 90 days to make sure the project is going to work financially and that it's feasible and that you feel like you can relatively get relatively close to what it is you want to build. So you're going to need at least 60 to 90 days in most places to do that. A lot of times I do contracts with zero earnest money for the first 90 days while I study the property to make sure I can do what I want to do. Then once you cross the 90 day hurdle, then you put up your earnest money deposit that is refundable. Uh, and let's say that's another six month um, process while you decide uh, or while you work on the on the approvals and the zoning, you know, uh, approvals, amendments, anything that you need to do for the approval process. So you have a 30 or you have a 60 to 90 day initial study period, feasibility study period where you don't need to put any money up. Then after that 60 to 90 days, you put earnest money up. That's when you decide, yes, this project works. It's feasible. I think I can build what I want to build. So you start moving through the approval process. Now you want to tie the purchase price of that contract to the number of units or density that you think you're going to get. So if you think you can get a hundred units and you're paying a million dollars, well, you know, that's uh, $10,000 a unit. So you want to make sure you get that. If you can only get 80, then you only pay 800,000. So you want to tie the purchase price to the density that you think you can get for the project, because that's ultimately going to term determine the value. So then you have that six month to nine month process to get all of your approvals, all of your permits, not just a zoning approval. You know, zoning doesn't mean you can build what you think you can build. You need to get all the way through to where you have actual permits to start breaking ground before you close on that land. Um, and then you want to have the ability to cancel the contract at any time uh, if you are unable to get the density or the number of units that you're looking for. So that's kind of how you do the contract. You want to go 60 to 90 days uh, of a feasibility period to make sure that you uh, are relatively confident that you can build what you want to build, that the numbers are going to work. Once you cross that, you put earnest money up, give yourself six months to a year, depending on how long you think it's going to take to get uh, all of your uh, approvals. And then uh, never close until you get all of your approvals, entitlements, permits, everything you need so that you can actually start breaking ground. Then you can go ahead and close and move forward with the project.